Living side by side, this mixed community in a slightly shabby suburb of Paris gets on well enough. Here, one can find all manner of tongues and religions, and all shades of black and brown, yellow and white. But there is evidence, at least according to one charity that's involved in helping Muslims with legal problems, that Islamophobia has been growing in the last few months. There have been women who have been harassed in the streets, spat at and beaten. The figures are not official yet, but they show a significant increase. The problem started after President Nicolas Sarkozy kicked off a debate about national identity, in other words, what it is to be French, and his assertion that the burqa wasn't welcome in France. Others took his lead. Jean-François Copé, the chairman of France's governing party, the Union for Popular Movement, told Press TV earlier this month that banning the burqa was partly in the interests of security. It's a question of security and of respect for women. Sociologists believe that fear of others' cultural and religious norms and the perception, right or wrong, that Muslims make little effort to integrate fully in French society are two key reasons for growing Islamophobia. It's above all necessary to keep to our French values. But the former Prime Minister, Alain Juppé, regards his fellow politicians' antics as divisive. He said recently, everything which sets one community against another is detestable. And that's probably the wisest remark in a debate, which some French commentators see as nothing more than a cynical exercise in politics. Take, for example, this column in Marianne magazine, a weekly which boasts some 300,000 readers. Its basic message is that President Sarkozy and his ministers have been exploiting the burqa to detract attention from France's long list of economic and social problems. And the leading financial newspaper, Les Echo, said the issue was being used as a smokescreen for the same reason. Mark Vautier, Press TV, Paris.